Miss Sarza, you and the defendant have a child together. Yes. And you had an apartment that was jointly leased, and you lived in the apartment until shortly after the baby was born. Yes, sir. And then you left. When was that? What year? 2015. What month? August. And you left because? The relationship ended. A mutual thing? No. Who ended it? It ended uh, two days after our son was born, so I decided to leave. Well, was there an argument, a fight, or was it just, we're done? It was a, we're done. I left with my parents because he had nowhere else to go, so for the time being, he stayed in so the apartment. So you left with your parents? Yes. And did you have any sort of a discussion with each other about the apartment? No. You just left? I, I left. Uh, he stated about a month later that he would like to move to Koreatown, which is where he lives right now. So eventually he did leave. Um, I wanted the apartment once he left. And did you move back? No, I never got the option. He terminated the lease without my permission. Okay, he terminated the lease because he left. And that was a month later? That was two months after I, I had left. When you were living together, were you sharing the expenses of the apartment? I paid the bills, he paid the rent. Okay, so you were sharing yes. the expenses. And when you mm -hmm. left, now all of the expenses were his, correct? All the expenses were his when he terminated the lease early. No, you terminated your lease by not paying the expenses and leaving with your parents. Yes. <laughs> you moved out. I mean, as it happens, as between the landlord, you both terminated the lease early, and there was an early termination fee, which is what she wants. She wants you to pay half of the early termination fee. You did, in fact, terminate the lease early, correct? I did terminate the lease early, but... Did uh, you pay an early termination fee? No, because no. I was um, forced to leave. I, I didn't want to leave. I could have stayed there, and she could have avoided those expenses herself if she would have signed off her lease, but she refused to do that. Well, That's not the way that it happened, Your Honor. Just a second. So, Ms. Soiza, after you moved out with your parents, did you ever return to the apartment for five minutes? Yes. How often? We were visiting with our son. No, no. Probably How were... often did you return to the apartment? Once a week. Did you always come announced? Yes. There was only that once was... that I came unannounced, and it was to get my furniture. And on what date did you come to get property? I don't recall the exact date. It was August 24th when she moved out and had her family help her move all this. Just a second. But she left at the beginning of August? Yes. And all of my belongings weeks? stayed there. And three, well, then you were there. Did you pay the expenses that you were supposed all to pay? All the expenses that were on the in, inside the home, the furniture, the bills, no, no, I no, continued paying. In the month of August? The month of August, yes. Yes, what bills did you pay? We had internet, all the furniture that we were paying. Um, I paid myself. I continued to pay any type of extra expenses aside from the rent. And who did you give that money to? I paid directly to the gas company, to the in internet. In August? August and forward until he left. Were those bills in your name? Yes. One was mutually under both of our names, which was the furniture. Mr. Zamora, it's relatively simple, sir. You both terminated the lease on this apartment. Within a relatively close period of time, the landlord levied a early termination fee. You have to pay half. Do you understand? That was not the case. Um, we excessively tried to get her to sign off on the lease and I have that evidence here I that she have. never signed. It doesn't matter. Um, and I had to move out because she was, you know, constantly harassing me coming there. I Listen had to get to a me. restraining order for her to stop coming. And that's when the landlord allowed for me to be able to break the lease. Otherwise, I would not, I was not able to break the lease. Do you have proof that you got a restraining order to keep her out of the house? Yes. I'd, I'd like to see it. It was a temporary restraining order that was I don't dismissed. care. I don't care. It just belies your story that you had just appointments to meet once a week for visits. I just want to see what he says, because it doesn't look like the kind of a nut that would waste time to go to a family court to get a restraining order if you were coming only on notice.